Hi, how's everybody doing today? Sean, I'm back here with another video. The first video I made earlier was uh, showing you my x-rays and things like that. So we're gonna work on volleying today. Uh, get, get, until I get back into this a little bit. And since I play a lot of doubles, um, it helps me with the, uh, I always bought, practice volleying uh, three times a week uh, to touch, get touch. But I did forget the oscillator, so I have it set up. We should be able to hit some. And I set these cones up because you want to, where I, what, since, <clears throat> since I've been playing tennis and uh, I play a lot of doubles, I notice the area where I hit the cones, the players have the most time, uh, hardest time to get to those shots, uh, even in singles. So uh, if you hit angles and you hit short balls, you're going to make them go out wide or you're going to make them come in. So um, let's go have some fun. Let's go see what we can do. I'm actually gonna try a couple trick shots today too. I'm gonna see if I can make a ball bounce back on my side. So we'll see if we can do that. And I'll have some fun doing this. Just gonna loosen up a little bit. Just
Playing too, because a lot of people hit balls at your feet. In the old scooch little haven't hit a serve in months.
Yeah, if you got a good serve, you throw that underhand serve in there, you'll get some free points. Brett does it all the time. I like watching him play. He gets a lot of balls from the tennis teams. That's something maybe Trey could uh, work on, throwing an underhanded serve in there since people are standing so far back off the baseline to return a serve. But okay, that's that's number one. We're gonna do a few more of these. Then I'm gonna work on return of serves. So thanks for everybody watching. We're gonna get there. Uh, it's good to just have fun while you're practicing. And like I say, you wanna hold a conventional or continental right, uh, grip, which is this part right here, your knuckle will be on there and it'll be like you're hitting a hammer, using a hammer or you're volleying. And that gives you the ability to, to absorb the ball and use the racket. Like I said, you wanna use the racket I probably have an unorthodox style of volume, but I don't miss many volley volleys. And I, I do get a lot of winners when I'm playing the net and I'm short, I'm not tall at all. So that has nothing to do with it. It has something to do with you anticipating where the ball is gonna go and uh, working with your partner to make sure he, he or she hits the balls in, in positions for you to get points from, you know. I seen a video of some lady getting hit by a tennis ball and she freaked out through the tennis ball. I mean, through the tennis racket at him and stuff like that. I can't tell you how many times I've been hit with overheads, like intentionally. Um, but if you are at the net and you're on the Q side here, I'll show you a little trick. I'll show you something. So someone's gonna hit overhead at you. You know it's coming. It's not too soon, about it. defend myself because uh, you're in a vulnerable situation at that point and you could throw the person off that's trying to hit the volley because now you're taking their angle away because they're either they're going to hit you or they're going to try to hit it out wide for the winner so either way you have your racket to, to, to put it in front of your face because that's where you want to protect the most you want to protect your face because the ball can hit you in the eye and cause a problem so that's how I do it and I've won points from that way too people just hit miss hit the ball and all I did is put my racket out and it bounces right back in the open court because both people were on the same side at that point. And uh, they're coming in behind the net to do business with you. So appreciate everybody watching. We're going to get out here and uh, hit some tennis balls. I want to see how I feel stepping into the ball because I am I haven't really stepped into anything in over a month. And uh, I got my brace on and stuff. So I want to see how I feel. And I appreciate all the support. And we'll be back soon.